Good morning, good morning. How are you today? This is Rainy Sandy, and we are back with a brand new character. <laughs> um, we died last, Sam died yesterday. We were in the Soul Cairn, and... She fell from a height. Didn't realize that it was actually that bad. Um, we won't be doing that again for a while, I think. So, let's find out what we're going to do today. I think Whiskey needs to go and see the Jarl. That's her whole objective for today. Go see the Jarl. And like I said yesterday, we're probably going to be utilizing quite a few different skills from the different skill trees. I'm not going to hinder myself this time to just one set. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. <sighs> nothing of our struggle, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son? Hmm? Right. What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So I spend a lot of time Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, please. Um, see Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Oh, what are you gonna do, darling? I know your family. Anyways, looking for my husband, Um, he's over there. He, he, he's coming up the. He's he's just heading back down the stairs. Regans, I can handle. This talk of dragons, world gone mad, I say. I agree. May we truly reach enlightenment. You walked among us, great Talos, not as God, but as man. Oh, that guy. I swear, that dude. I, I know he's just doing his thing, but sometimes I wonder if he's not as uh, wing nutty as they come. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't begrudge him his doing his thing. I mean, go, 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 go do your thing, man. I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now. And that kid. Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. No, please. I really don't have any money, Grace. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Ugh, I'd beat that kid within an inch of her life. But her mom and dad. Unfortunately, her dad's too busy worrying about a sword, and her mama's too busy reading books to care what she does, which is too bad, because I'm sure that kid could be a good kid. I don't know how, but I'm sure. I mean, she does moo loud and long. Um. Well, you know what happened to you, dear?
I should be able to jump up and sit there and just look. Oh, what a pain in the neck. <laughs> ah, well. Off we be. Let's go, let's go find the Jarl. Your daughter did, my friend. Like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. In each of us, the future of Scotland, yeah, you got married. The future of Tamriel. And there it is, friend. The ugly. <coughs> we are the children of man. Oh, yes. I am. <laughs> I am having an awesome day. It's raining like mad outside. cold, it's gray, it's icky, and what better day to do this than today? I only counsel what caution. Would you have me do then? We cannot afford Nothing. to act rashly. My lord, please, this is no time for rash action. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving Just... visitors. Who's this then? As House Karl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. A dragon has destroyed you know Helgen. About Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak yeah. to you personally. Approach. Who doesn't know about Helgen? So you were at Helgen? You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes, sir. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Good idea. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. I don't want to get right now. Father Prado. All you ever do is complain about what you do. You're a spoiled baby. I'm going to tell Father what he said that. Come stay in your house for sure. Surprise, darling. He heard. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. 
Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, <coughs> many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, <sighs> impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? <laughs> I, uh, learned okay. of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone mm -hmm. said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go okay. to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Okay. Um... I'll go back to you on that. With you. The Anything we can use to fight this dragon. Neither am I. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to, what have we got here? We're not going to do that right now. We're going to go and do this. Yes, yes, I know. Fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. Okay, so thank you. Finally agreed to send you back to I work with my mother. To yes, sell fruits of and course. Vegetables. We'll leave Got some good pieces out. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay. Well, here, you can have that. Thank you. Don't forget to check. Oh, I won't. Inside the shop if you need anything. Your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people to safety if the town is attacked. I don't expect the three of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves. But I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. We can count on it. Let's move out. Okay, here we go. Now, there's two different ways we can go. We can run all the way around, or because we're going to Silent Moons, Silent Moons, ugh. Yeah, Silent Moons. There's a couple of ways we can accomplish this. Um, we'll actually equip our bow because <gasps> him.
Ah, and I lost my arrow. Rats. Okay. Now, Silent Moon's camp is up this way. We... Where's the other one? Yeah, you saw what I did to your mama. Now, what I'm gonna try to do... Sneak in. How the hell did that happen? Okay, um... Huh? Hmm. Nothing here after all. Is someone there? Never should have come here. You can't hide from me.
No sign of them. Lion little harlot. That brat ain't mine. Could be anyone's. Won't get one rusty septic. Hello, who's there? Mine's playing tricks on me. Retire someday, get myself an island. Huh? What was that? Make a fine rug, cat. You're as good as dead. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so, now that that's over, um, what's here? I'll take it. I'll take that. What you got? Um, what you got? Gold, lockpick, some arrows. Well, that was brilliant. have officially been ripped off. But you know what? We're going to go in the back way. <laughs> I don't believe it. There were no lunar weapons there. 
That's okay. I'll get him. Let's go back and get it. I want everything. I'm taking it all. Because I got ripped off. Officially ripped off. Well, that is annoying. <clears throat> well, okay. <coughs> I'll take it. Your stew, please. Thank you. See you, bye. Oh, you got some good stew? Now, check this action. I don't tell you about this in Dragonborn School. You can go through here and unequip that. And plop down here. one You picked a bad Okay. <laughs> now that we had to be super quiet, Use some Skyrim magic. And go... to there. Uh... 
Um, we are going to try something a little different today. We are now back in Riverwood. We are going to go get a go get our room. We are going to save, and we're going to call it a stream because I would like to do other things today. I'm just Orgnar, you're that trying visitor. really, sure really thing. hard. It's yours for a day. Hard not. Thank to. you. To yeah, not. We need to get a new batch. Burnout. Did you hear me? And. Yep. I think that this is going to be a good place to stop. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Maybe tomorrow will be a little bit longer. Maybe it'll be a little bit shorter. I don't know. But regardless, I hope you all have a great day. Stay warm. Stay safe. Most of all, stay caffeinated. And please have an awesome day. This is Rainy Sandy and Whiskey, and we're saying have a great day. Like and subscribe to our channel, and you'll see more from what, more of our adventures. Again, if we die, we die. That's it. You're dead. No more pussycat. So, you got to stay alive as long as you possibly can there, kitty cat. And let's all have an awesome day. Bye for now.